y'all what's up it's your girl Kay Marie. now i'm back with another motherfucking video <laughs> i'm back with another video i hope you guys are being good hope you guys are being safe out there being careful um this is going to be a story time yes we're going this is going to be a story time while i eat my little wings and um yeah so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe stay tuned guys what's up y'all and i'm back with another motherfucking video <laughs> How you guys doing today? I hope everybody are doing good. I hope you guys are being blessed and safe out there. Um, yes, y'all know the world of change is just really, really, really crazy. So let's get into this story time video. So we're going to talk about um how my lip got the way it did. Okay, so let me start for the first beginning. So um first I was sick. I was sick for like three weeks and so like i was taking orange juice drinking a lot of fluid waters um taking a lot of their flu night night quilt day quilt medicine um i was taking a benadryl pato bill smoke up my stomach was fucked up i had diarrhea I had everything so make a lot so short so um after i recovered from three weeks from being sick then i realized like I start like spitting up and shit. Like I was spitting up multiple times every like every other day. I was spitting up. I remember it was like two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. I begin up five, six o'clock in the morning, just spitting, spitting, spitting. And so um after that, after like after two weeks, after I was spitting, so then I started realizing I had a rash. What well, no first before the rash even happened, I was like literally rubbing my lip. As I was, I was rubbing my lip so much with the, cause the spit kept coming on my lip. So two weeks after that, after I got done rubbing my mouth with the, uh, rubbing my lip with the uh, toilet paper so many times. So two weeks after that, that's when I seen a little small rash on my lip, right? And so I said, okay, what the hell, what's going on? So then, um, I go, you no, know, then I, or I remember I ordered some crabs. This is what I have. I ordered some crabs. Y'all know crabs is greasy as hell. And this is the time when I had my rash on my lip. So I goes and ordered me some crabs. I said, oh, I want to have me some crabs today. I want to eat me some motherfucking crabs today. So long story short, um, so I ordered me some crabs. The crabs came to the house. It took like probably like an hour and a half for, for me to get, get my food. So my food came. I ate my food. So two, three hours after I ate the crabs, I realized like my fucking lip got swollen. Like literally that shit got fucking swollen. I'm going to put some pictures. I'm going to show the pictures because I did take pictures of my the swollen lip. I'm going to put the pictures in the, um, in the, and I'm going to put the pictures in the video so you guys can see when my lip was swollen. So yeah, so, um, Three, uh, two, three hours after I ate the crabs, I realized my fucking lip had swole. Like, it got this fucking big. It seemed like somebody just punched me in the lip or something. It seemed like I got into a fucking fight or some shit. So, I said, what the hell? So, I was like, why is my lip swollen? Why is it swollen? So, after that, it stayed like that for two whole weeks. So, every day, I was putting ice on it. I was putting ice on it. For two and a half weeks, I was putting ice on it. So, then, two weeks out, two and a half weeks after that, then it um the the swelling went down and then i realized like pus start coming out a whole bunch of pus start coming out and then um i had listened to what the pharmacy man said he said keep putting the ice on it until the swelling go down so the swelling did went down then i started seeing pus come out redness and shit like that and um make a long story short then um yeah, make a long story short, after the pus came out, then a week after that, then I see start seeing redness, like it started bleeding and whatever. But it wasn't bleeding like super bad. It was just a little blood, but a little redness. So then after that, I said, okay, time to make me a doctor's appointment. So I literally made me a doctor's appointment. I literally made me a doctor's appointment, and I actually went to the doctor. The, my doctor had to check and look at it. And she told me, guess what she told me? She said, well, Crystal, it can be a lot of reasons. She's like, it can be a lot of reasons why you had this issue. She said, because you were sick. So that's how the cold sore 
She's like, that's how the cold sore came about on your lip because you were sick three three weeks of prior before your lip even got agitated. So she was like, and you was eating greasy food a lot. So you are getting sick and then you turn around and eating greasy food. That's why the cold sore forms into that's why it formed into a cold sore because you were sick. Then you had you was eating so much greasy food. So that's that's how it all happened. That's how it all started. And um, so she gave me some antibiotic pills and she told me to take 10 antibiotic pills. That's what I did. I took 10 antibiotic pills and after the 10 days up, I took it. And then I realized like my lips started scabbing. And y'all know when the lips start scabbing, that means, I guess they say that's when your lips start to heal, when it starts scabbing and shit like that. So I remember in the, um, I took the antibiotic pills after 10 days, after I took that, then I realized the scabbing started coming. And then it's, the scab went off. So this is how my look look right now, guys. This is exactly how my look looking right now. So um, then I, when I went to Walmart to pick my, you know, my medicine up. So she told me to get some cream. So I got some cream for my lip. And I use that for like 10, 11 days. And I don't have to use that no more. So she's like, um, now your lip scar. I had told her my lip scar. And she said, okay, well, we can make another appointment for you to come in and check it. Look. So we did. So um, make a long story short, um, my lip is scarring right now. And my doctor said it's going to take three to six months for the scar to be able to remove from my lip. So, um, yes, this, this is the story time on my lip and how it happened and why it was swollen and all of that good stuff. But um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more story times because I got a lot of tea that I need to motherfucking spill. <laughs> and that's just period. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on all post notifications. Hey, I ain't even eat. I ain't even eat all my wings. <laughs> I do all that talking to my wings just sitting here. Mm -mm -mm. Wait. <laughs> the whole time I was talking and these wings just sitting right here I mean they literally just sitting right here but um oh these wings so good don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. More story, more story times coming soon. Cause I got some tea that I need to fucking spill. Uh, say what? Say what? Ho, don't play with me. Don't play with me. We are on a roll to what? Thirty k. <laughs> Love y'all.